everyone. Thanks for checking out my channel today. I'm going to do a video on why I chose to be a LPN and not a RN. And is it worth it? <laughs> so I have five points that I would like to, you know, make to why I became an LPN. And you guys, I'm sitting at my desk in my little office chair. I'm not going, I'm, I'm going to try my hardest to not do this. Because like when you're in these type of chairs, it's just like, I don't know, like you just get carried away. I'm going to try my hardest to make sense in this video. I'm the type of person, like my mind be going like a mile a minute. And like there's so much that I want to say, but I have a hard time like getting those thoughts out and articulating myself you know the best way that i can i don't want to sound like dumb <laughs> but i'm gonna try my hardest so just a little background um i am 24 years old um i live in florida the state of florida i reside in the central florida area and i am a young mom i became a mom at 19 I had my first baby at 19. I had my second baby while I was in LPN school. I was... How old was I when I, had my... <laughs> when I had my son? I had my son 2019. So that makes me... I was 22. I believe I was 22 when I had my son. So... I'm 24 right now. I'll be 25 in December. And I have been a LPN for almost a year. August is when I passed my NCLEX. So I finished school in July, passed my NCLEX August of 2020. I just want to give y'all a little backstory because I don't have a lot of videos on my channel. So y'all probably like don't know much about me. I plan on making more videos. It's just hard because I don't have a lot of time on my hands. Like right now I was supposed to be working, but that's a whole nother story for another day. The first reason why I decided to become an LPN and not a RN is because schooling is a lot less. <laughs> you don't need, well, in my situation, I did not need any prereqs to become a LPN. I know some LPN programs, you have to be a CNA first or you have to have anatomy first. Me, um, I did not need any of that to become an LPN. Um, my school was 15 months long. And I do know some LPN schools, it's 12 months, 10 months. So the reason probably why my school was so long is because they did not require any prereqs to become an LPN. Beeping a, who, be, who outside beeping a horn? Cause I'm gonna need for you to stop. <laughs> you don't have to be in school a long time to become an LPN. Um, I was in school for a total of 18 months. Um, my program is 15 months long, was 15 months long. However, I had to repeat one class and that extended me three months. I had to repeat a term, so I graduated in July instead of March. Also, when I started LPN school, I was a couple of years out of high school. I was, I graduated high school in 2015. I started LPN school in 2019. So like a four year difference. And honestly, I lost that stamina. Usually when you go from high school to college, you're still in like that school mindset. Like you're you're used to taking classes. You're used to doing homework. You're used to not having that much of a life. Me, I was out of school for four years. So I was doing whatever the heck I want to do. Like I wasn't tied down to books, homework, assignments, projects. I literally just worked a regular job and went home. Like the good life. <laughs> I call that the good life because uh, I'm back in school right now. So I'm trying to be a RN. So that good life is gone. Once you get used 
to not being in school and you get used to having a life and doing whatever you want to do besides work, outside of work, it's hard to submerge yourself back in that type of lifestyle. For instance, I go to a community college right now doing my prereqs. Um, the professors, they love to call us kids because I'm in school with a lot of fresh out of high school students. Um, a lot of 17, 18, 19 year olds. I'm probably the, the oldest person in the class and I'm only 24. So a lot of these kids, a lot of these young adults that I go to high school with, they're probably still living at home, probably still working like little part-time minimum wage jobs. So instructors, basically bunch us all together in the same box and i get called a kid too i'd be i'd be like kid <laughs> like honey i got you as you can see i have grown women bills um i gotta pay for everything that you see in this um in this apartment honey um and i make well over minimum wage so nobody wants to go from being an adult like this to sitting down in a classroom the nurse with the new new locks come through i basically had to build my stamina back up towards school um after i finished the lpn program i was then very much more confident in my academics and my schooling and i was a lot more mentally ready to start pursuing my rn you just sometimes, sometimes you just have to take baby steps. I am a go-getter type of person and I like things to get done like as fast as possible. But sometimes you just have to ease yourself into the situation because you do not just want, you don't want to take off at full speed, crash and burn, you know? So sometimes it's just better to start small and then work your way up to the more larger things. The second reason why I became a LPN before an RN is, well, not an RN yet. The reason why I became an LPN instead of an RN is because I was not stable. I had, I was not stable at all. When I say stable, I mean like financially stable. I was very broke, very, 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 <laughs> very broke. When I applied to LPN school, I um, was working a job. I was pregnant with my son, by the way. I'm big and pregnant at this time. I was like six, seven months pregnant. Yeah, something like that. I was working at a call center. I was making like $13 an hour. Um, I had to, I, I had, I don't know if you call it evicted, but I had to walk away from my apartment because I no longer could afford it by myself. My car got repoed. Um, I was very unstable. Like I was very unstable and I was looking at it like I can go to school for 15 months, come out making $20 an hour or I can continue being unstable for the next two to four or five years, trying to become an RN and literally stressed out about money every day that I wake up. So I chose to go to LPN school because it's gonna give me the resources to better my life for me and my children more quickly than me becoming an RN. And honestly, it did exactly that. Because me, a year, two years ago, could not, oop. <laughs> I, I could not be able to afford this apartment at all. This apartment is probably what I was making in a whole month of me before a nurse. Like this couch probably would have been a check and a half of what I used to make. Like, all this is because of me being an LPN. So, honestly, 
I had a plan, I executed it, and I provided myself and my children the lifestyle that we needed, that we deserved. I remember I was like working DoorDash, Uber Eats, Uber Lyft. I was working all these jobs to just try to do the bare minimum. So I was paying bills late and then I was paying the minimum. <laughs> Hello, um, what's the minimum I can pay to not have my lights turned off today? That type of, you know, situation. And honestly, I wanted to get out of that type of lifestyle as soon as possible. I was over it. I was over it. Over it. So my third point, I, I kind of already said this in point number two but becoming an LPN is fast money you can literally go from making minimum wage to $30 an hour in a year yes honey you can literally go from making $9 an hour to making $30 depending on where you live at. I live in Florida Florida is one of those lower wages lower wage states it sucks but like for instance, agency, I'm employed with a couple of agencies. I be making, I can make $30 an hour. I can make $40 an hour all because I'm an LPN. So it's fast money, legal fast money, honey. Don't do that other fast, don't be out here. Don't be out here scamming. Put the PPP application down, put it down. Don't do it girl, don't just go to school, go to LPN school. You're going to be making money. Just just be patient. Be patient. Point number four is I wanted to get my feet wet. I wanted to start my career as soon as I could. I want to be a RN 100%. But like I said previously, I did not want to be in school for four years straight out the gate. I decided to become an LPN, get the experience, learn my skill. The same skills LPNs do, RNs do it too. We do the same skills. There's minor things that an LPN cannot do that an RN can do. We do foleys, we do traits, we do vents, we do med passes, we do wound treatments, we do everything. <laughs> We talk to doctors, we talk to therapists, we do everything. We are doing the, the damn thing, honey. We're doing it. And we have a very much larger patient load. Our multitasking skills are A1, honey. We're lit. LPNs, we're lit. So once I become an RN or once I get accepted to a RN program, I'm already going to have previous knowledge because I'm an LPN. I'm already going to understand how body systems work, drugs, especially like pharmacology. I know I'm, I took pharmacology to be in LPN school and then plus I work with medications all the time. I know medications like the back of my hand. So I know once I take pharmacology in RN school, like it's gonna be more easier for me because pharmacology in LPN school was so hard because all I knew was Tylenol. <laughs> like all I knew was acetaminophen, acetaminophen, acetaminophen. Now I know all these, I know Parkinson's, I know um, antidepressants, anxiety medications, blood pressure medications. Um, what is it? Blood thinners. I know water pills or diuretics. I don't know if I said that. So I know all these medications now, which is going to make it more easy for me when I go to RN school and when I do become a RN as well. Last but not least, reason number five. I was young. I was, like I said, 22 years old when I, um, signed up for LPN school so I literally have so much more time to become an RN I don't have to be in school right now I'm like I can't wait until I'm 30 
you know, but I chose to do it now. Um, and I feel, I felt like at the time, since I was so young, what's the rush to become an RN? Okay, I can do this 15 month program and still be under 25. Like I'm still gonna be a nurse. I'm still gonna be young. I'm gonna be under 25 years old. What's the rush? Like I can knock this out, this LPN program out real quick, make more money, go back to school for my RN and still be young, you know? I was in LPN school with ladies that were in their 50s that were, I believe, in their 60s. They didn't look like it. They look good, honey. Black don't crack. But when they used to tell, you know, us our, their ages, we'll be like, shut up. You a grandma? You got grandkids? Shut Your daughter my age? Shut up. So, honey, it don't stop. So that was my five reasons to why... I became an LPN before an RN. Um, and the last question, the last thing I want to talk about is, was it worth it? Hell yeah, it was worth it. It was definitely worth it. I told you guys, the lifestyle that I have right now, I could not have this lifestyle if it wasn't for me being an LPN. Like, this would be... I would still be somewhere probably struggling on my last leg, asking people for money, literally surviving off McDonald's dollar menu, honey. I've been there, done that. I know how it feels and I'm so happy that I just made the decision to become an LPN. I'm so happy God gave me the mindset, the strength, the perseverance to become a LPN and not settle with life. I'm thankful to God that I have such a burning like drive in me to always do better, always do more, always strive to be the best. I am not a complacent type of person and I thank God, you guys, I thank God that he instilled those qualities in me. Because one thing about me, Joe. She is a go-getter, honey. If she wants something, 10 times out of 10, she's going to try her hardest to achieve it. If something is for you, it's going to be for you. But remember, you got to put the action behind the dream. You got to take the steps on the path to become what you want to become. And that's something that I definitely live by. We can pray all day. We can pray to God and be like, God, I want to do this. I want this. Please, God, like, let this happen. But honey, you need to also put in the work. Once God see you put it in the work, the blessing is going to come. You just have to put in the work. So if you're thinking about becoming a nurse, get up, call these schools, Ask them what are the requirements for me to start your program. It doesn't matter. LPN or RN, honey. I'm not biased. Do what is best for you. If they tell you you need to do boom, 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 do those three things and sign up for school. If you have kids, find a babysitter. If you have to pay for a babysitter, it is what it is. If your family don't want to watch your kids, it is what it is. Honey, hire a babysitter. Communicate. Kate, tell people I'm in school. I have a dream. Are you able to watch my kids these days? If they say yes, great. If they say no, move on to the next person, honey. <laughs> One monkey don't stop the show. I know sometimes when you get told bad news, it really does hurt. And like it, it, it stops you for a second, but don't let it stop you forever. Keep doing what you gotta do to become a nurse. Oh, Lord, my girl, my leg falling asleep. <laughs> but I'm about to, um, I took the day off because my agency pissed me off. So I'm not working today, even though, y'all, yeah, I'm, honey, let me show y'all. I was dressed. I was dressed and ready to go to work today. Look, look. Dressed. Dressed. 
appreciate it. Remember to subscribe. <laughs> Remember to su <laughs> I'm so weird. I'm sorry. I'm so weird. Like, I'm so awkward. I really am. I'm working on it. I've been like this my whole life. But remember to subscribe to my channel to keep up with me if you enjoyed this video just subscribe you like me girl you like me let's be friends you want my number girl you want my you want my instagram it's gonna be down below my instagram not my number <laughs> but girl if you want my instagram you can message me on instagram i'll put it down below subscribe like this video the more you like the video the more people will see it and the more friends i will have so Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.